uh, if uh, I should say if Ohio State wasn't at four, uh, it would be just A and M was a dart throw then, yeah. and just mm -hmm. inconsistent. Elika, what was your big takeaway there? I know you have some feelings about Ohio State and Texas A and M there as well. Yeah, ultimately, I mean, I agree. I think the rationale doesn't line up with what they did last week. And the good news for the committee is, is ultimately both Washington and Ohio State control their own destiny. So this is one or two people that really change their minds yeah. on a committee that can really sway that. Was it? More resume last week, and now it's more eye test this exactly. week. I, I don't know, but again, that's what you get when you get a human committee. It's interesting. I, mean, I look at this and go, the the drama in college football. There's a this credit. Give Washington that credit. Michigan as well. has left the state once. That was against Rutgers. Their two uh, wins on the road have come against two teams that are 0 and 12 combined in the Big Ten. Just they can't control. No, that. they can't. They but can't that's like that. Washington. That's that's exactly that's right. That's what I'm saying. I, well, well I do have to say, I don't think lack of control over your schedule is necessarily an excuse. At the end of the day, this committee still has to compare resumes. But you also have game control that's involved. Yeah, they Arizona, have. Yeah, they have. They have. They have. By seven points. The, but on the road okay. against like Utah. Your <laughs> like your four. Like your four. Okay. Like your four. Like your four. Ohio State and. Yeah. Washington. All right, you got Washington. You said you're thinking yeah, about Washington. Yeah, but I, I talked to Elika before the show. I would have gone Ohio State because that's what I thought the committee was going to do. But I like Washington better than Ohio State. Yeah. At the five here. Do we just have a flip-flop? Yep. And we do. And all of these teams controlling their destiny at this point. Would you rather have the rankings come out like end of November, first week of December? <laughs> I mean, this is good for us. It's good for us. But all of this is going to all of this is yeah. going to sort itself out. I will out. say this is a considerable upgrade from a couple years ago before the playoff committee and all we had to go hey. off of was preseason <laughs> rankings and then yeah. the impact that those had throughout the season. And think about the panic that you would that teams would be having if we had the <laughs> old model with all these unbeatens. Mm -hmm. Oh, what happens if we have four? Well, if we have four, you're still okay. Here's, here's a, a good point. Like earlier, some of the drama is gone a little bit for right now because the only place where we disagree it's so minimal and yeah. even more so because it doesn't even matter. I mean, Michigan and Ohio State are still going to play each other. This will work itself out. So me even putting Washington outside the top four, it's not my intent to leave Washington but, out of the playoff. But they it, still have opportunities yeah. Yeah, to make their case. Exactly. These two, one of them will fall out. The interesting thing with Washington, matters. you've got USC now in the poll, Washington State's hey. mm -hmm. in the poll. Now, even after the Aggies lost on Saturday, the question remained, would the playoff committee reward the Huskies despite having played the fourth easiest schedule of any Power 5 team. Of course, there were no surprises at the top of the rankings today. Alabama came in number one, Clemson at number two, and Michigan at number three. When it came time for number four to be revealed, Washington fans breathed a sigh of relief, while Ohio State likely felt slighted, and Louisville now can only keep their fingers crossed for chaos. Here's the chairman, Kirby Hocutt, on the committee's decisions today. The committee, after the first rankings were unveiled, here we are a week later, and Danny, I can ask you, did they get it right this time? Yes, it only <laughs> took an extra week, but they finally got it right. These are the best four. What are your impressions of the way the committee looked at the number four spot and the way they played it out from the first week to now this week? Here's one thing I know for certain, Lisa. Trust the committee that they're watching these teams play and that they'll come up with the best four when it's all said and done. Reese asked Kirby Hocutt, is it about resume metrics? Is it about eye tests? And he said, it's a, a little combination bit of, everything, of both. Right? It's an art, not a science. And which they're is, proving that out. Which is the best answer. I